Hello, here I am today with my amazing Starbucks cup that I got in Las Vegas. Um, mermaids, mermaids are so magical. So anyway, I've had a lot of coffee thanks to Starbucks and they're not sponsoring this video unfortunately, but maybe one day. Okay, so we're here to talk about save the dates. I know there's a lot of different people that have a lot of different ways of thinking about this, but think about your save the date as you don't want somebody to be like, oh, another wedding that's coming up that I have to go to and it's going to be so boring. No. <laughs> you want people to be super excited about your wedding. You want people to get pumped when they get that save the date. And a way to do that is to be really thoughtful about the event that you're doing and what you're putting together. And so here are some recommendations. Um, I actually recommend working with a stationary designer, somebody that a graphic designer or a stationary company, somebody that you can actually call or go and visit that can actually help you put everything together. Online options are great, except for the fact that you have to do it all yourself. If you are perfect and you know what you're doing and you don't mind, you know, working through it online by yourself, then fine, use online. But I like working with humans, with people that can actually put these things together, and it's really helpful to be able to work with someone that's done it before. And they can tell you, okay, this is what we typically do for save the dates, this is the size that you want to send that's, you know, maybe it's more USPS friendly, they'll tell you what size, you know, what kind of stamps to get. They have these super cute love stamps right now, by the way. So exciting. They're not the kind of boring, weird, forever stamps. They actually say love on them, which I know to some people it could be like, oh, love, but it's really, it's very pretty. And I believe it's rifle paper that puts them together. So I recommend working with someone that's done it before. Um, and I also recommend working through a vision for your stationery. So what I mean by that is some people think of the mentality of they want their save the date to be completely different than their wedding invitation. I actually like the idea that you're starting off very slowly and you're giving them a hint of your wedding and then you're going to start and then just like <sighs> explode into wedding, <laughs> into wedding stationery. And what I mean by that is think about this. You have a save the date. It's super simple. It's super mysterious. You're not quite sure where it's going yet, but you know that it's going to be awesome. And then when you get the invitation, bam, it's got all the information on there. You're so excited. You're like, I'm going to Chicago. I'm going to be in the coolest venue in the city, especially for all you non-Chicagoan people. Chicago is one of the best cities to live in. I'm a little biased. But anyway, so that's a little bit more about what I mean by vision. So starting off giving a hint of your theme and a hint of what you're gonna do, but then for your invitation, giving the full theme um, as far as like the introduction to your actual wedding. For me, paper, that's what it does. It gives me a hint of what's to come. It gives me, you know, when the invitation comes in, it's gonna tell me a little bit more about the formality of it, what I should be wearing. Is it an outdoor wedding? Is it, you know, a super formal wedding? Is it a black tie event? So those things come with the invitation, but for the save the date, we're just giving a little taste of what's to come. And then we're going to be talking about um, what you should have on your save the date. So just give me one second. I need my coffee. Woo! I swear to God. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how people don't drink coffee. I wish I was that person. I'm not. I'm an event planner. I need coffee. So enough about coffee. Um, what you should have in the save the date. Um, first thing is it's optional to have your photo on there or not. Some people love having their engagement photos taken and they put the photo on the save the date. Um, you don't have to do that. It's totally optional. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Um, it's your time to be a little bit more playful if that's where you choose to go with it. But you don't have to do it there. There are other ways to use your engagement photos or your um, proposal photos. So the second thing is you're gonna ask them to actually save the date. Um, say save the date. <laughs> or you can say, um, you know, uh, Sally and Bobby are getting married. 
Um, you know, it depends on the graphic design uh, theme that you're going after, but actually ask them, let them know that you're getting married and let them know to save the date so that they know what it is. Um, names. Sally and Bobby. Don't forget to tell them who you are. Even though most people may know if they see your photo, you want to make sure that your names are on there. Your wedding date. And then put the year. You guys, you have to put the year you're getting married. You can't just say May 8th. May 8th of when, right? So you have to put down when you're exactly having your wedding. What's the actual date, the month, the date, and the year. And then talk about the city and the state. Don't put the zip code. Just put, for example, Chicago, Illinois. You don't need to put where the venue is. You don't need to put the exact address. Just put the city and the state. And then you'll want to put invitation to follow. So again, you're going to, to recap. You can choose to put a photo or not. You can ask them to save the date or put Bobby and Sally are getting married. I always like to put save the date somewhere just because it's fun. But you don't, I mean, maybe it's up to creative design. So again, photo or not, ask them to save the date or put Bobby and Sally are getting married or whatever your names are, um, Bobby and Joey or, you know, Sally and Sarah, whatever your names are, put it on there. And um, then put your wedding date, May 8th, 2019. Make sure you put the year, make sure you put the month and the day as well. And then put the city and the state and then put something about invitation to follow. Oh, and put your wedding website. If you have a wedding website, put it on there. Highly recommended. The wedding website is where you're going to put where the hotel room blocks are, any kind of transportation information. You can put dress code. You can put any kind of um, charities that you're donating to if you're doing any of that. Um, registry information never goes on the save the date or the invitation. It only goes online if you choose to include it. Let's be honest, way back when, when people were getting married, um, it was a faux pas to put anything about wedding registries. You would have to call up, you know, the bride or groom's parents and say, excuse me, so-and-so, where are they registered? Let's be honest, we're a little past that. We want to make sure that we know exactly what to get you. Otherwise, you're going to end up with eight toasters. We don't want that. So that's a little bit more about what goes on the save the date. And then as far as save the date options, some people still do the magnets. I haven't seen that in a while. The idea with magnets is that they go up on the refrigerator. But for example, at my house, I don't have my refrigerators covered. So I don't put things on my refrigerator, so I wouldn't have anywhere to put it. Um, and you're also competing with the 30 million other magnets that some people have on their refrigerators. So I wouldn't necessarily think about just doing or only the idea of a magnet. You could do a magnet or a postcard. Postcards are great. They're easy. Um, postcard size, you could do four by six or five by seven. You can have your photo on there or not. You can do something on the front and the back. Um, you can do a standard invitation size, which is uh, a little bit bigger than that. And you can just do something similar, again, with or without the photo. Or I've even seen people do something really creative. They've gone online. They have a graphic designer create an online save the date. If you were going to do online, this is the place to do it. That way you can get them out quickly, but you can have some fun with it. We even hired an animator one time to create an animate a save the date and they had it was super cool they had a knot and the knot started on either side of the um, save the date and it came together and it tied into a heart I think yeah <laughs> a heart and then it came out it was super cool uh, and it was very interesting very unique people loved it and we actually put that in with their wedding website so lots of creative ways to go about creating a save the date just a little bit of thought for you, something to think about. If you like this video, definitely throw up a thumbs up uh, and click subscribe. And uh, don't forget to leave comments so we know how many more videos to make about what and 
We're here at City Girl to make your lives a little bit easier. I hope you have a great day.